Okay, here we are at the Rushmore Crossroads. Nice big power awning on the outside you can see up here. Has three slides, one on this side. Aluminum rims, huge pass-through storage. Let me see if I can open this with one hand. Yep. So just a massive storage area. You got your light, central vac in here. Um, set up for TV if you didn't want to have a set up on a TV but just to show you the size of this compared to like another one you can see how much shorter that is and this is just huge but yeah so you have a big pass-through under under storage you have more storage in here Fifth wheel hitch, uh, power legs in the front. The switch is right there to control the front as well as power back legs too. Huge storage in the front as well. So you could have a generator in here, your power disconnect right there. But that's a nice big underbelly these have. Let's open this, this is for your propane. You got your two propane tanks in here. Your leveler right there so that way you can see if you're level or not in the front to back just another access for the massive underbelly as well as all your hookups for your outdoor shower city water your flush kit your valves all of that's in there too so oh, your water heater this side you have two slides. Let me back up so you can see it. You got one there, one right here, and they're really deep slides too. I don't see how, if you can see how far they come out, which is nice. A lot of them have slides, but they're only like a foot deep, so it's kind of pointless. Right here's a switch for the back legs, uh, ladder for the access for the roof, and then we'll go inside. This does have the gorilla cage. It's a solid six-sided aluminum superstructure, as well as your upgraded like four season package pretty much. So right when you come in, you can see the cabin tree in here is just really nice. Very spacious, a nice layout. Here's your controls. For your water heater, which could be electric or gas, which is nice. All your lights, your power awning, your slides, all of that is in here. You even have a light for a hitch if you have to do it at night, which I don't recommend. Your AC, heat. So we'll come in here. You can see just nice cabinetry and just like the tiers so you can put decorative stuff on each side which is kind of nice a lot of storage in here probably your pantry right here this is a neat feature in here this is probably for like your spices but these slide over so that way you can have like your hidden spices and so forth in there which is just kind of a nice little bonus feature they really think of everything in these really deep almost too deep storage your fridge freezer it's a three-way so you can set to automatic so you can run off propane all that storage above head nice little sofa there's storage in here these aren't original but they fit in here nice overhead storage i just like the glass inserts that they added in here the trim around this is just Real nice too, it's a nice little design. Uh, we do have a table, we just haven't put it in yet. Um, it's actually brand new, it should be coming tomorrow, but the table will go there. You have your nice big 43 inch TV right here. You could actually get a bigger one even for that. If you wanted to, you could always remove these two, put in an electric fireplace there too if you wanted. More storage right here. Just, I mean, this is full of storage. Nice countertops. We got some clean stuff in the sink. 
Uh, your central vac, so if you wanted to, you hook your hose up to that and it's a vacuum so you don't have to have one. Uh, we never really use it, but storage, sink, more storage, your shower, toilet. So you got a pretty good sized bathroom and then more storage even behind it. I mean, I know I'm probably saying that a lot in this video, but a lot of it in here. Nice little footstool. So if you're shaving your legs, or you want to sit, you have that in here. Dome to make it a little bit taller and lighter in here, which is nice. The bedroom I really like, of course, the infamous storage, but I mean, in here, you can hear me saying it a lot. I mean, there's just an abundant queen size bed. If you wanted to, you could always remove one of these and you could have a king in here if you wanted. Uh, but I like the queen because it gives you a lot of space to walk around in here. Glass inserts in the storage above there, little end stands on each side. The glass inserts just make it look real nice. They did spent a little extra to make it look good, but they did a good job. So your TV would go up here, then left you a nice big space. Second AC right here. You like dresser, little vanity desk. Um, this too is neat. They have its own separate spot for your washer dryer hookup. I mean, how nice is that? So you put your washer dryer here, you have shelf. Um, there's your water lines for it, your plug, or it's a second closet. You know, it's already set up to go, has its own light. So this could be like a, a his closet and then a hers closet. Depends on what you're wanting to do. These are magnetic, which is nice, so you don't have to see a plastic clip that makes it look cheap. You have built-in shelves on the side right here. Good size. Uh, the door, it's not plastic, it, and it has a glass mirror, so if it's shut, it just gives you an illusion of it looking a little bit bigger. So yeah, that's the RV. It's a good, tons of lights, has built-in speakers on the roof.